So one question I did have um, is people were asking, uh, this is gonna be fun to figure out. Actually, I should probably do this on a different, hold on guys. Um, so let's take this adult red dragon, sure. Um, so you'll see here that, um, you'll see here that there's a lot of stuff going on here. So this adult red dragon, um, I do have some modules on to make it look like it's a D and D beyond kind of character sheet, which is totally like, you can turn them on off, whatever you want. Um, if we look at the PCs, um, if we take a look at Timic, this is what your normal sheet would look like for a regular player character. Um, this is Foundry Virtual Tabletop that I'm using, and that's actually what I use for the uh, online games that I run. Um, another interface you can use is Roll20. Roll20 is a free interface that you can use. Um, up to a point, there is a certain point where you run out of space to store things, um, but I'm using Foundry Virtual Tabletop for my games because it allows me to kind of be a little bit more flexible and have that ability to do this kind of stuff. So just makes my life a little bit easier. So. Uh, let's say I want to customize this adult red dragon. Let's say that I want him to be a little bit different. So there's a lot of different ways that we can actually change uh, what's going on with this particular character. Um, there's a lot of different ways we can change what's going on with this particular character. So you can see that he's already got a lot of things calculated already. A lot of the averages and stuff like that that we have normally to expect of an adult red dragon. Now, there's a lot of things we can do to customize this guy. So we can actually come in here and we can just call this guy, uh, this adult red dragon's name is Frank. Now this guy's name is Frank, cool. Um, he's huge right now, we can make him a different size if we wanted to. We can change the type of uh, the type of monster he is, we can change his alignment, we can change where he comes from. Um, armor class, it's a formula apparently, or no, it's not a formula, it's automatically a 19 because that's his innate armor class. So that's kind of how that works there. I'm gonna drag him down a little bit so you guys can see him a little bit better. Um, he's got a climbing speed of 40 feet, a flying speed of 80 feet. He's got health determined by this, but you can actually come in here and change it. Let's say we want Frank to not be as good. Let's say Frank's health is only 12 D12 plus 133. You can re-roll it and it'll automatically change the health or you can keep rolling it until you get an amount that you actually want him to be. Or you can just put it in yourself, up to you. Um, Let's say you wanna change some of his skills here. You can easily do that too. You wanna to change his deck save. You can change that as well. Um, ways to change the skills right here. You can just come in here and type them in differently. Like say you want this to be a 22 instead of a 25. You can easily do that. I'll just leave it at 25 for now. Um, and it should, in theory, automatically change everything. So now his intelligence is a plus two. I have to change that to a 14. All easy stuff there. Um, if we continue to move down, you can see that his dex check here on the saving throw is a plus six. We can easily change that by coming into this little gear and you can see a bunch of stuff happen here. So now we can actually pick individual skill proficiencies that we want to be proficient in or expertise in. He's got that proficiency in dex because of his level, all that kind of cool stuff. Easy enough there, easy enough to find that kind of stuff. We can also change some of his immunities and his resistances. We can come in here, we can add more changes vulnerabilities, we can do all that kind of stuff. Let's say we want this dragon to be vulnerable to something, so... Let's say we want to be vulnerable to lightning and force damage. We can update that, he's got vulnerability now, so that way you can go in there and have that um, input it in there for you. Um, you can... You can do a lot more stuff, you can actually Change his challenge rating if you choose to. That's actually gonna change a lot of things about this creature. You can take away his legendary actions, resistances if you choose to. You can also change his features. So let's say if we lock this back up again. We can come down to his features. We can actually add some new ones and we can come in here, add it in here the way we want to. Now, if we do something we didn't want to do, we can just click that lock button. We can come back in here and delete it. Easy enough right there. That's how to get rid of them. Uh, as you continue to kind of move down here, you can see that there's spells and stuff like that, and you got legendary actions, you got your detect and tail attack and your wing attacks, all the cool stuff that you expect from fire um, from these guys. You actually can also throw in that breath attack into the chat. There it is. Easy enough, Bob's your uncle. All set to go there. Now, if we want to add spells, now that's the tricky part with this one, is, and not that the spells are tricky, but the way you add spells is not the way you normally would think. So we'll say that this guy is a charisma caster because he has a dragon, that makes a lot of sense to me. And let's say I'm gonna use, let's just use the um, um, spells from the SRD. 
And let's say we want to add some something that's fiery based. So let's say we want to add a fire bolt. So we got fire bolt. We can take this, drag and drop it in, and it adds it to his spell book. And now he has fire bolt as a cantrip. Let's say we want to give him wall of fire. We can do that too. Now he's got wall of fire. Now it says that he doesn't have any spell slots. So how are we going to change that? Well, simple enough. Come up to the gear, unlock it, give him spell slots. Although it will want you to make a caster level that's high enough for him to do it. So we'll just do that. And now he's got level three spell slots that you can use. And now we can add three in here. Or level four spell slots you can use. There you go. Boom, Bob's your uncle. All set to go. Uh, we can add fireball. We can add firestorm. Let's just add everything. Why not? Oh, no. Now we only have one. That's okay, because we still have spell slots available for it. So it still uses the basic caster level system that you would normally expect from a normal NPC or anything like that within D&D. &D. Um, but you're able to kind of customize it any way you want, which is really nice. Fairy fire. Let's add that in there for funsies. All that kind of cool stuff. And then you can easily, what's funny about NPCs is that you can't very easily just uh, change everything on the, f like you can't just like short rest them on the fly. You have to actually add everything in there. But that is basically how that works. So I hope that was really helpful. Um, I know that for some uh, has some questions about how to kind of play around with how to make your own custom, um, basically your own custom monsters. And that's basically kind of how you do it. And you can cast your spells and stuff like that from here still. And you can actually pick a spot on the map to do it in and it makes a big giant fireball, all that really cool stuff. I know, really cool, sexy things right there. Um, automatically rolled the damage for me, 22 damage of fire with a DC 19 dexterity save, pretty cool stuff there. Um, and that's why I really, really actually just love this particular interface. Cause it makes my life much, much easier from that standpoint, so. Again, I hope that was really helpful. Um, this will probably end up on YouTube um, later on down the line. So if you're on YouTube, make sure you subscribe. If you're watching on Twitch right now, make sure you follow and Twitch Prime subscribe, whatever. Um, but um, yeah, no, so uh, this will be kind of cool thing to see on YouTube later. But um, what I'm actually using is Foundry Virtual Tabletop. So um, I will actually take you guys to them here in one second. Once I, I'm gonna delete Frank.